Welcome to MKE Gadgets. Yesterday was my favorite holiday of the year. Unlike Christmas, it comes 52 times a year. Yes, I'm talking about trash day. So in our area, if you put anything on the curb, that signifies something you don't want. You put it out there and people will take it and repurpose it or do what they want with it. So today, I'm going to show you what I found. But first, let's talk about some of the parts we're going to need. This is a controller. You're going to plug your tool in here, and today I'm using my sander, and a vacuum cleaner in there. And it plugs into a standard 110 outlet. With this, as soon as you turn the sander on, and listen, my vac will start. and I turn the sander off, the vacuum cleaner keeps running for five seconds to clear the line. So my vac came with this bag, and this bag is pretty nice, but it does fill up pretty quick. And through the mesh of the material, fine particles come out. Well, I like to collect all dust as best I can. So with this particular vac, it has different size pieces of tube here for different size hoses. It just happens to be the hose I have fits on the small one. This is what I got yesterday on garbage day. Someone shot out this very nice Dirt Devil vacuum cleaner. 10 amps with the HEPA filter. I took it apart and cleaned it. The only thing that was wrong with this was the handle was broken. And I took the handle apart because I wanted to get it to switch. And I just put a spring clamp on to hold the switch in while we work on it. Also, the cord was damaged and it had some frayed wires. It came with a little tape on it. Before we're done today, I will fix that. When I turn on the sander, the vac automatically turns on. So I'm going to take this handle apart, rewire the switch, rewire the cord. Now to make the transition from my hose that goes to the back of the sander and to the vac that I got off the curb, this little brush tool, which I cut off, slipped over the hose and put a little electrical tape on there to hold it. So now I can take the two pieces apart for transportation and storage. I removed the broken handle and took the two wires and went to the switch and I tied them together and I put a wire nut on them. I really don't need a switch because when I turn the sander on, the vac will automatically go on. I repaired the, the bad wire on the cord. Now I'm ready to go. Let's do a little sanding. With the vacuum cleaner on the floor, now we can do a little sanding. I don't know if you can see, but there's no fine dust particles in the air. The whole project only cost me a wire nut and some pieces of tape and some solder. If the shop vac takes a dive on me, I'll put it back on the curb and get another one. Now most of the shop vacs and vacuum cleaners that I've seen on the curb, usually the switch is broken or the cord is broken or they just need a good cleaning. I wouldn't hesitate to pick one up and turn it into a useful little vac like this. Remember, the best holiday of the year is garbage day. It comes 52 times a year, and you don't have to worry about the whole naughty and nice business. This is MKE Gadgets. Please subscribe to my channel. MKE Gadgets, out.